Hey everybody, my name is Joel Barrero. I'm here in Bennett Pond State Park in Ridgefield, Connecticut. I'm going to take you on a little tour of what this park has to offer. Let's go. Situated in the foothills of the Berkshire Mountains, Bennett Pond State Park is conveniently located at the outskirt of the town of Richfield. The park was once the home of Louis D. Conley, a successful manufacturer and nurseryman, whose estate of more than 1,500 acres was one of the largest in Richfield. Today, the park's 460 acres are just a portion of 1,800 contiguous acres of open space in both Richfield and Danbury. Bennett Pond Park is open year-round for a variety of scenic activities, including hiking, biking, fishing, and seasonal bow hunting. The park goes at sunset, and parking is always free. So this is actually the Bennett's Pond Trail system. Now, right here, this is the Ives Trail, and it's marked by what are known as blazes. They're right here. You'll find them all the way along the trail, and they'll help you identify whether or not you're staying on the right track. We're gonna head this way, we're headed north to explore the park a little further. So check this out. One of the reasons that I love this park so much are its extremely pristine and honestly, very hikeable hiking trails. So if you're just starting out, I recommend this as a good starting point. If you've never hiked before, this is a very scenic, very relaxing, not too hard on the knees, really, 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 really hikeable hiking trail. I recommend it, you'd love it. So right now, we're actually standing in the aftermath of the Isaias Tropical Storm. It did quite a bit of significant damage around uh, the, the western part of Connecticut. There's a lot of sections in uh, towns such as Danbury, Brookfield, uh, New Milford, including Richfield, where they lost a lot of power, a lot of damage done to the, uh, to the trees. Uh, and as you can see, a lot of brush, a lot of branches, and it's all from uh, Tropical Storm Isaias. Every once in a while, you'll come across an obstacle such as this one. So you just have to be very careful. As I mentioned earlier, we did experience a severe storm. So we have down trees, down branches. So you will come across, uh, come across obstacles from time to time. But not to worry. In the meantime, we're just going to climb right through. And continue on our way. I don't recommend doing this. If you find that it may be dangerous, but as you can see, not a problem. We can keep going. All right, as we're getting closer to the pond, the trail is getting a lot wider. We, we brave that narrow little trail and we've been rewarded with a nice, roomier trail that's going to take us right to the pond. So follow me, we're almost there. Alright, check this out. We've been following this trail and we've been rewarded with a beautiful view of Bennett's Pond itself. Look at that. Incredible. Gorgeous. There it is. Look at that, beautiful. The hike is worth this view alone. Incredible. Absolutely stunning.
So here it is, we officially reached Bennett's Pond. This to me is what hiking is all about. Coming across the natural beauty that nature has to offer. Just look at this. This is exactly what it's all about. So this trail has led us to one of the most beautiful ponds you'll find in all of the state of Connecticut. Now, if we stay on this trail, if we follow the markers, it, would actually, it will actually loop back around to the entrance from where we started in the park. So we're gonna continue to follow that trail and hopefully come across some more beautiful uh, sites along the way. Let's go. So some of these blazes are actually painted on because some of the actual stickers, like the one we saw before, go missing. So uh, if you don't see one, make sure you look out for these as well. They'll be painted right on the, uh, the tree and the trail. All right, so just a few safety tips uh, for anybody that's uh, thinking of going out hiking for the first time. I recommend, number one, hydration, all right? Just always bring a water, bo water bottle with you. Uh, you are gonna sweat a lot, especially if you're a newbie. I'm already sweating right now and I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, you always wanna wear lightweight clothing. I mean, depending on the weather. Um, I mean, it's August just started here. So uh, temperature's uh, a little high right now, so uh, you want to try and stay uh, uh, cool, but also ideally you want to wear long pants. Um, you don't have to, it's just my preference just to, you know, especially in Connecticut, you know, there's ticks, you know, things like that you want to be aware of. And just always watch your surroundings. Always try and be mindful of your surroundings, no matter where you are. Uh, and also make sure you keep your phone fully charged. Uh, and just, you know, it doesn't hurt to let somebody know that you're going to go out camp, uh, hiking, let them know where you're going to be. Uh, just in case, God forbid, if something happens, uh, they'll know what your whereabouts are. So, uh, yeah, safety is always number one uh, before anything else when it comes to hiking. Check out the size of this spider. So we've come to a completely different section of our trail here. Uh, we've gone about half a mile since we hit the pond and now we've come across this little hidden meadow, little hidden gem that just once again just adds to the uh, wonderful experience that it is to hike in one of Connecticut's most beautiful parks. All right, guys, that's it. We just covered four miles. That brings us to the end of our trail here at Bennett Pond State Park. Um, this was, without a doubt, one of the nicest hikes I've ever gone on. It was very hikeable. 
very uh, just just a very nice scenic trail. Uh, we got such a nice view of the pond itself, and the highlight for me was that meadow. That was very unexpected. I did not expect to see that. Beautiful, beautiful meadow, um, and a very nice hikeable trail that I highly recommend, especially if you're a newbie. So uh, thanks again, guys, and I'm looking forward to doing this again soon.